Shalom, shalom to the Melanated family. This is the elder coming to you with my third video of the day. This video will also be on my main channel. This video is about Taylor Swift fans coming after Jay-Z for defending his wife, Beyonce. <laughs> Although in his speech he didn't mention nothing about Taylor Swift. I'm gonna play this little clip, then I'm gonna come back with my commentary family. Make sure you check my live stream I did this morning too. Tonight you feel like you've been robbed. Some of you made it robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. <laughs> No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Fans online would have a lot to say about the acceptance speech as responses were mixed. Even though Jay-Z didn't mention any names, there were several fans of Taylor Swift who would take offense after assuming Jay-Z was referring to her. One user on social media would write, Jay-Z is so corny to me sometimes. Your wife has more Grammys than anybody, but you on stage complaining about her not winning one particular category? The entitlement is very real. Hmm. Another would chime in, it's tacky and classless and frankly ridiculous. Awards are subjective. They don't go to who Jay-Z wants them to. This isn't hard. On one hand, he's saying Beyonce has won more Grammys than anyone, but still he finds fault. That doesn't make sense. Another user, your acceptance speech was so full of conceit. And then to drone on Beyonce not winning one particular award, Tacky AF. Knowing that artists who had won it were sitting right there, I hope B never wins it now. Yeah. One more user would chime in. Jay-Z won it because his wife isn't as talented as Taylor Swift. And yeah. the Grammys last night was hilarious and once again shows the dishonest and racism of the black community. He whines about the white... Did you hear that, family? Did you hear what they say? Taylor Swift is talented than Beyonce. I don't know. I don't even watch either one of them. But I doubt it. Taylor Swift wasn't talented as Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Natalie Cole. Hmm. I can name some gospel singers better than her. That's right. So, so, so you see how they feel about it. That, Jay-Z Jay ain't mentioned nothing about no Taylor Swift in his speech. But I go to show you how, they won't call us racist and all this kind of, black people can't never be racist. We can be prejudiced toward each other or we can be prejudiced toward uh, certain groups of people that doing us wrong. But I go to show you how, these people think. Won't well, call us a racist and tell us with his most talented. And where at? Let me know. I like to find find that out. Singing to a bunch of ten year olds. And 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 Taylor Swift ain't who you think she is. She's involved in a lot of demonic and unrighteous and, and undivine activity. That's right, family. When you're in that Hollywood, <laughs> you're in that Hollywood, you know she didn't sold her soul. There's a lot of demonic activity going on in Taylor Swift's life that ain't being reported. That's right, family. So we're gonna cut this video short. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about <laughs> Taylor Swift fans coming after Jay-Z and Beyonce and claiming black people are racist when we can't never be racist because we don't own nothing and we don't rule nothing in America. And our own land that was stolen from us. Take that to the bank and do your research on it. Peace and love. Put up the likes and the shares. And I'm going to be rolling videos out all day, family. 
on both of my channels and i'm out.